In this section, you're going to learn about notes. I'll go over the notes tabs and ribbons. I'll show you how to create and edit your notes and how to print out your notes. So let's get started by going into Outlook. Once we're in Outlook, let's go to the Notes app. Now, if the Notes app does not show down in your list of icons, click on the ellipsis button and select Notes. We'll start with a quick overview of the tabs and ribbons. We'll start with the File tab. Just like any of our other apps, it takes us to the Backstage, where we can do our printing, we can set up our automatic replies, and manage our rules and alerts. The Home tab is our default tab, and it contains the most used functions and features for the Notes app. Under the New group, we can create a new note, and we can also create new items such as emails, appointments, and meetings. From here, we can go to the Delete group and delete a note. From our current view group, we can change our view. From the actions, we can forward or move a note. We can also categorize our notes from the tag group. Send and receive works mostly with our email, and it forces the send and receive of our folders. We can also check our progress here from the download group. Let's go to the folder tab. This is where we could go to the new group and create a new folder. From our actions, we could copy a folder. We could also go to the share group to share out our notes or open other shared notes. And under the properties group, we could give folder permissions and check the folder properties. The view tab allows us to change our current view from the current view group. The arrangement group allows us to change the arrangement of our notes. And from the layout group, we could also change our layout. Let's go ahead and move on to creating a note. There are a couple different ways you can create a note. The first way is with our shortcut key, Control shift n and it's going to open up our Post-it note. And that's exactly what a note is. It's just a Post-it that you can post either within your application or anywhere on your system so that it's always available. Close out of it. Another way is to come up to the Home tab, New Group, and click New Note. And again, it will give us our Post-it. We'll add the details to our note. We'll click the note Post-it in the upper left corner of our screen and click Save and Close. And it adds our note. Now, if you want your note left open so that it's up in whatever app you're in, go ahead and open it up. You can move it around. So let's go ahead and minimize our Outlook and we've still got our note available. So if I'm working on my document within Word and I need to make sure I call him with my information, I'll leave it open on my screen while I continue to work and then I call him. Or if I've added details to my note that I need to include in my document, I can leave it open as well. So notes are great as a sticky. It's just like the little sticky that you would post on a piece of paper. You put your quick notes on it and you can pull it up and work on it. We'll go ahead and close it. We'll go back to Outlook. If you need to edit a note, all you need to do is double click on it, open it up, make any changes you need to it, and save and close it. To print your notes, go to Backstage, so we'll click on the File tab, go to Print, and it will print out the highlighted note. You'll notice when we go to Settings, we don't have the option to print our list like we normally do our table style. We just have the memo style, so it'll print out the details for the note that we had highlighted. Now if we go back to our list, do a control click, we can highlight two of our notes, come back to our print, file, print, preview, and we can print out both of our notes. So you can highlight multiple notes to get the details for them. If you wish to print a list of your notes, you need to switch your view to a view list. So you can switch either to the notes list or seven day list. Once you switch to the list view, you can go ahead and print your list. So we'll go to file, print, and now we have the table style setting, which will give us our list to print. You can also forward on your notes. So for instance, my note here, if I needed it to forward to somebody else to take care of, I could come up to my action group, click forward, fill in the information, and click send. And it includes a copy of the notes so the person could open it and add it to their notes. Remember, notes are just like post-its. It's a quick jot of information that you can leave open no matter what app or what program you're working within. To add notes, Home, New, New Note, or Control-Shift-N, and it will open the note for you. Once you add your information, click in the upper left corner on the post-it and tell it to save and close. Printing notes is done through Backstage, File, Print, and that's how you work with your notes.